Welcome back everybody to Ask Bob, where we answer your questions about the car business and pull back the curtain and help you in the car shopping process. So today's question is from Scott R from J-Town. And Scott asks, Bob, what should I look for when I'm buying a used car? How do I, how do I make sure I'm not getting fooled or I make sure I'm getting a good quality used car at a good price? So Scott, I've got some tips for you. The first one is start online. And once you drill down to the model that you know you want, start comparing prices online for that model year for about the same miles. There's plenty of sites you can go to that are gonna show you what's a good market price for that car you're in interested in. Just be an educated shopper before you drill down um, to the one you wanna look at or contact a dealer about. Secondly, when you go look at that car, get a vehicle history report, a Carfax or an auto check. You wanna know the history of this vehicle. Here's what you're looking for. Accidents is the big one. A Carfax divides accidents into different categories like slight, moderate, severe. A slight accident is probably just a bumper cover, maybe a little fender bender. That's not necessarily something that should scare you away from a car, but you just want to know. If you see the airbags have been deployed, that's something where you really want to ask questions. What happened to this vehicle? How and where was it fixed? There's just more chances that maybe something wasn't put together perfectly or that car is not the same car that came out of the factory. The other thing you can look for on a Carfax is service history. There are a lot of dealers and other independent repair shops that push their repair data um, and maintenance schedules to Carfax. So a car that's had all of its regular maintenance done every three or four months, you know you've got an owner that took care of that car. The third thing that I want you to look out for is the current condition of the car. Go around the car, see what the tread depth is on the tires. There's easy ways to measure that. Um, find out what the thickness is on the brake pads. You should be able to ask the dealer or the owner um, when the last time new brake pads or rotors were put on. Look at the wiper blades. Just know the current condition of the car because you wanna know, even if you're getting a great price on that car, what do you maybe have to spend money on in the next six months or year, two years that might make that not as good of a deal? Ask the dealer what reconditioning they did on the car. When they took it in on trade or bought the car, what did they do in their shop to get this ready to sell? And the last thing that I would recommend, this is, this is really protecting yourself, take the car, ask if you can take the car to your mechanic or an independent mechanic and spend a little bit of money for them to put that car in the air and do a multi-point inspection on it. That way you've got an unbiased source that's telling you about the car and their opinion of it. And you can also ask for the previous owner's information. In many cases, if it was a private owner in a local trade, you can get a phone number and ask that person, hey, what, what can you tell me about your car? Why did you trade it in or did you have any issues with it? If you follow those tips, you're gonna be an educated buyer, you're gonna know exactly what you're getting and you're gonna be in a spot where you can negotiate your best deal. So thanks for writing us, Scott. Uh, everybody like our video, share it. And if you've got any questions for Ask Bob, just email me at bhook3 at bobhook.net or contact us on LinkedIn or Facebook. Thanks.